Hey guys, in this video we'll be going through retraction settings. Uh, if you've got a brand new printer and it's stringing everywhere, or if you just really need ch really need sort out your retraction settings because you change your not your hot end or anything like that, this is how we'll be doing it in Cura. We'll be using their plugin on Marketplace. So. We'll go down to Calibration Shapes, and click on that and install it. Mine's already done. And then uh, quit, cure it and come back in. And then you can join me after that. So then, if you haven't watched my last video on how to uh, do add the uh, calibration shapes to your Cura before then uh, when you've opened your Cura back up you need to come it back into copy scripts you click that and uh, reset your Cura again yep you've got to restart it again and then come back into Cura and join me because we're going to add a retraction tower so here's my retraction tower you need to uh, make sure you're at point 0.2 quality and slice it up because we need to know this first line here and your baseline so we'll go into preview and I'm already at my baseline which is 4 and your second line will be 40 this will make sense in a minute We'll go into modify G code, add script, and if you copied the script properly, all of these will be on here. If you didn't copy the script properly and shut down Cura and restart it, you'll be missing a lot of these. So we need retraction tower. And this time I will start with speed and no, let's go distance. We'll start with distance. So I will start on 2.5 and going up in ones. Uh, change layer, as I said before, is 40 for every layer and my bottom layer offset is 4. Don't worry about display details on LCD I've got 4 printers well 5 ones not working and uh, none of them displays on the LCD what it's doing so don't worry too much about that so yeah yeah if you didn't watch my video earlier on, oh, sorry, my, from yesterday, then uh, make sure that your printing temperature is correct. Yep, I showed everyone how to uh, do a temp tower yesterday. Just jump on to my channel, like and subscribe if you can. Make sure that your speeds are down a little bit. Under 40 is reasonable for this test, just so it doesn't take too long. If you did watch my video yesterday, uh, it's not like this one. Uh, don't worry about all these settings, they'll all change. But I would just try not go too, too high with this. Because we're doing distance first, so you can uh, start that on... Um, let's stick in the middle and go 20. So we slice it. There we go, 49 minutes, it's happy. Double check, distance 2.5 going up in ones. So we'll have 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, 5.5, 6.5. I say that because everyone, a lot of people say don't go over five, and then a lot of bloggers say don't go over six to seven. So we're, that's just a nice, a nice couple of blocks there and then obviously you can fine tune between that so uh, if my uh, best was 3.5 but I wanted to see if I could get better so I'll go 0 0.1 and I'll just keep going 
until uh, my retraction's awesome. And then uh, your speed. When you finish this test and you're happy with it, you come back in. You'll still have it open on your computer probably. Uh, your speed starts at f 5, going up in 10s. And it's exactly the same, nice and easy. So obviously you'll be changing this, so I'll, I'll keep mine at 5 for this demo. And then slice it and keep messing around. Obviously you keep your g-code on your SD card for your distance too because it, it might change a little bit as you're going through your speeds so uh, just just keep hold of them guys yeah all right then cheers see ya